President Biden canceling another $7 billion in student loan debt, but some Republican lawmakers say this decision is unfair in an election year. Carolyn Shively has more. It's college graduation season and the party is on. And now thousands of former college students have a reason to celebrate. We have also taken on the issue of student loan debt. On Wednesday, the White House announced the cancellation of $7.7 .7 billion in federal student loans for 160,000 people. The majority of that money goes to borrowers in public service jobs like teachers, librarians, and firefighters. So far, the Biden administration has forgiven $167 billion in school loans for around 4.7 million borrowers. It's part of the president's larger strategy to chip away at the loans bit by bit. After the Supreme Court last summer struck down his much larger plan to cancel federal debt for 43 million Americans. Then the president said, well, I'm going to go and do it on my own to the extent I can without Congress or without the court supporting this. Congressional Republicans are pushing back. This is a lawless president who's trying to buy votes and again thinks that the American taxpayer should provide free college. It's just not fair. It's not fair. Look at all those folks that, you know, work hard and they're paying back their student loans. Some students aren't buying it either. Joe Biden's in trouble. And what he's doing here is he's throwing a bone to uh, the millennial voters and he's trying to get young voters, voters back on board. Altogether, the Biden administration has approved debt relief for about one in 10 federal borrowers. In Washington, Caroline Shively, Fox News.